Technology is a fantastic option to teach with, and we use a variety of technology in the classroom. We have computers, the Promethean board, iPads and iPods, cameras, MP3 players. We have a lot of technology in here. The iPads for instructional purposes, I'm still very new at using them. It's been a task to try and find appropriate apps for students that are not just worksheets on a tablet. We use them to engage the students with different topics and different themes. We use them to allow the students to practice their oral language. I, my students love an app called Draw and Tell by Duck Duck Moose where they draw a picture and then they have to tell what they did or tell me something about it and it records their voice and they can hear it back. We have the puzzle game where they have to put the letters back together so it really demonstrates that they know what a, the letter looks like by being able to fit the pieces where they belong. Yay! We use the Promethean board every day. It's a different way for the students to demonstrate their learning. There are just so many different things that you can do with it. Well, we're learning about the aquarium, so I can go onto a website and they can see a live video of fish swimming around in their aquarium. This is a nice website, explore.org, because it has live streams of anything you can think of. This one is a beluga whale in an aquarium in Canada. So the students can really see how the beluga whale moves through the water. It's not a substitute for a field trip, but it's a nice supplement. I like the Promethean board for engagement purposes because it's large, so anywhere the children sit on the rug, they're able to see. We use it for everything in here. When they arrive, they have a question of the day. And that's my way of knowing who's here, and that's their way of working on their oral language. So this morning, the statement was, describe your favorite seahorse. And they had four different seahorses that they could choose from, and they moved their own picture onto the column to kind of make a graph of which seahorse they liked. And once they had chosen the seahorse they liked, they had to come to me and describe it. Okay. What color is it? Thank you very much for saying that sentence. Some kids were able to tell me it's a seahorse, and some kids were able to tell me it's a yellow seahorse with white dots. This one has yellow and when I use the Promethean board, I always make sure that it's very purposeful and content driven. My objective is very clear. For example, with the game this morning, their objective was to identify a number and then put that many fish into a fishbowl, demonstrate one to one correspondence if they're to that point, and to decide who has more and who has less. Who has more fish, Gail, you or Lucy? Mm -hmm. How did you know that? Because you have a lot of fish in your fishbowl. So this morning, two students who were playing with me were at different levels. But I was able to play with them at their own level, and they were able to kind of differentiate for themselves with things that I had built into the game, where they were and how they wanted to play with it. One student I saw was really demonstrating one-to-one -one correspondence and she hadn't previously been showing that to me. So I took that opportunity to use the TS Gold app and just kind of quickly record her counting and then I was able to upload the video to her TS Gold portfolio so that I can reference back to it and know, okay, well she does have this skill. I can build on it from there. I use the TS Gold app on my iPod Touch because it's nice and small and it's not in intrusive in their space and I can quickly kind of pull it out of my pocket if I need to. I use it daily to see what the students are doing and what they are learning and then I can look back at their portfolios once those pieces of documentation have been uploaded to know where we need to go next with them. Today I was using my iPod Touch outside to catch a couple of the kids showing me some of their gross motor skills. They were jumping over a piece of plastic. I like how fast the TS Gold app is. I can pull it up, I can log in very quickly, I can take the video quickly. I'm not losing 
any instructional time or any teachable moments with my students while I'm trying to upload their documentation. So in the classroom, I use documentation a lot. It really is what drives what we do in here. We use it to figure out where the kids are and where they need to go. The documentation really helps me tailor my instructions. We even use it to share it with the students so that they can see how they've grown. The families really love seeing what their students are doing. I love sharing documentation with the families to show them this is where your student was and this is where they are now and look at where we're going to try and take them. And so we do that in several different ways. We share our documentation through a free website through Shutterfly and the families really love it and it's very simple and easy to use and it's not very time consuming on my part at all. To keep the students safe and secure, I control who sees it and who doesn't. You need a password and a login to get onto the website and to see the pictures. And if you are not on that membership list, you do not have access to our website. On this homepage, we have class news and updates. I can upload files. These are some of the kids' favorite songs that they love to sing and that families might want to sing at home with them. Here's the news and things like that. It gives you upcoming events. And then we have recent activities so the parents can go on here and know, oh, this video is added, this video is added. They can see pictures and videos. And here we have just regular everyday things. We made Play-Doh the other day and I took some pictures of the kids playing with the Play-Doh and I gave the parents kind of a quick synopsis of what we did and how they can do it at home if they want to. We went to the Museum of Nature and Science. So there are always concerns about families not being able to have access to the technology that their kids have access to, and especially here where are a Title I school. We have a really high free and reduced lunch rate. So it's a concern, but it's not a barrier. Most of them have some type of internet access, and if they don't have internet access on their phone, we provide access to the internet here at Gust, or there are libraries within walking distance that parents can go to look at these videos and these links that I'm sending out to help enrich their students learning at home. I've uploaded videos for the parents to see of fun things that the kids have done that really demonstrate what they're learning. For example, here's one of two students who used a piece of styrofoam to make a car. So they're really using their imagination. It's just a minute and 35 seconds. It's nothing long. But you can really see that the students are using everyday material to make something else, which is one of the TS Gold objectives. And from here, if the parents want to, they can save this video and they have it for their records. We have important dates so that the kids know what's going on and the parents can talk to them beforehand. And they have the ability to add events too. So if some of the students wanted to share what they're doing at home, if somebody is having a special day on the 24th, then their parents can add that to our calendar and everyone can see. We have a volunteer list. If I need volunteers, I can add that. We have a class contact list where it just has their first name. I keep last names off for privacy sake um, and there are no phone numbers but just so that the parents know the names of the students in their class because sometimes the kids don't remember them. And then we have a message board that mostly it's me uploading it but parents can add things to it if they want to. So it really creates a nice little community in the classroom with the parents who don't usually see each other. Technology is a great and fun and awesome option, but it's not a substitute for anything else. So I don't just use technology. I always make sure that they have tangible objects in other ways to enrich their learning.